Hey everyone, this is your daily dose of medicine. In this episode, we are going to talk about angio edema. Angio means blood vessel. Edema means uh, accumulation of fluid in body tissues. So angio edema is the rapid edema or swelling of the area beneath the skin or mucosa. It is usually a reaction to a trigger and trigger could be a medicine or something you are allergic to. It could be pollens, it could be molds or something else. All parts of the body may be affected, but swelling most often occurs around the eyes and lips. Often it is associated with hives, which are swelling within the upper skin. Hives and angioedema is different. Hives affecting only the upper skin, which is not the same with angioedema. Angioedema affects deeper layers. So the swelling can be itchy or painful. And there may also be slightly decreased sensation in the affected areas due to compression of the nerves. The swelling happens because fluid accumulates. In more serious cases, angioedema can also cause breathing difficulties because the swelling of the throat can cause airway obstruction, breathing difficulties. It can also cause tummy or abdominal pain. When intestinal area swells, that can cause abdominal pain and also angioedema can cause dizziness. It can be fatal. Between 1979 to 2010, 5,700 68 deaths are recorded because of angioedema. So let's compare urticaria and angioedema. Urticaria affects only the upper dermis, which is the top layer of skin. Angioedema affects the deeper layers, including the dermis, subcutaneous tissue, the mucosa, and submucosal tissues. On the left image, you are seeing angioedema, which is affecting the deeper layers. On the right side, you are seeing urticaria, which is affecting only the top layer of skin. How common is it? Up to 20% of the people will develop hives, which is affecting the top layer at some time in their life. And around one in three of these will have angioedema as well. One in three of 20% will have angioedema. Having angioedema on its own without hives is much less common. So in order to diagnose this condition, we are using several tests. But the most important one is skin prick testing. It is checking for immediate allergic reaction. It can check mm, as many as... 50 different substances and this test is usually identify allergies to pollen mold animal dander and we can also use blood tests uh, to see how immune system reacts to certain allergen and in order to diagnose hereditary angioedema we can check c1 esterase inhibitors uh, low levels will suggest that problem is hereditary so you can see skin prick testing. As I said, this test is checking for immediate allergic reactions. We have four types of angioedema. Allergic idiopathic. Idiopathic means the reason is unclear. Drug induced and hereditary. And allergic angioedema is the most common type. And it usually affects those with an allergy to a type of food, venom, pollen, or animal dander. This is not chronic situation. And drug-induced angioedema generally caused by ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors are drugs that are uh, used for high blood pressure. And it can also be caused by NSAIDs such as aspirin or ibuprofen, but it's not that common. Hereditary angioedema is inherited, which means several people in the family may have symptoms. 
And this condition problem is the C1 inhibitor protein. In this type of angioedema, episodes of angioedema will come and go over time. And bradykinin plays a critical role in hereditary angioedema. It's a peptide, it's a potent vasodilator and increases vascular permeability, leading to rapid accumulation of fluid in the interstitium. This can be dangerous. The most dangerous complication of angioedema is swelling of the throat and airways. It can cause breathing problems, and this is a medical emergency. Call 911 immediately if you notice this signs. Let's talk about treatments. Uh, we are using antihistamines if the condition is allergic or idiopathic, which means the reason unclear. We should change the drug that we are using uh, in drug-induced angioedema, and the problem will resolve on its own. Uh, we cannot cure hereditary angioedema, but swelling causes most complication. We can cure swelling. So, in order to prevent future attacks, we can use androgens such as danazole, oxandrolone, or methyl testosterone. And that is the end of the video. Uh, if you found it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. Thanks for watching.